Good. Hi, good evening, Frida. How are you? Fine. Oh, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Hi, Jose Galileo. Hi, teacher. Hi, Frida. Hi, Galileo. Nora. Nice to see you. Good evening. Hello, nice to see you too. It's good to see you too. Okay, so how was how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Good evening. Hello, good evening. How was your day? Uh, fine. Very fine. Cool. <laughs> very, very good. You had a good day. You look Is... tired, Frida. All the time. All the time. <laughs> too much, too much work, Frida. Yeah. <laughs> I can see, yeah, we work a lot, right? So it's it's reasonable. It's reasonable to be tired. Yeah. Es razonable estar cansado. It's reasonable to be tired. What about you, Jose Galileo? Where do you work? Uh, fine. Okay. Uh, okay. A little stressful, but good. I like my work. Oh, nice. Where do you work? Uh, in Papa John's Pizza. Oh, you work in Papa John's. Are you a yeah. cook? Are you a cook? Uh, no. A chef? I am QCC manager. Oh, QCC, nice. QCC is quality control center. Oh, nice. Interesting. So it means you go through different Papa John's stores or restaurants. Or I, you are or you are in one specifically. I am in the plant. And oh. My responsibility is the logistics. Oh, you are responsible for checking the logistics. Use the, yeah. vocabulary. Use the vocabulary from yesterday. I am responsible <laughs> for checking the logistics, okay? <laughs> that that's looks uh, familiar. Yes. All right. Nice. Interesting, yeah. though. All right. Um, hi, Dinora. Hi, teacher. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo el día? How was your day? Amazing, good, bad? Fine. 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 Day. Nice. You had a good day. Where do you work, Dinora? Uh, Papa John. Ah, you, you work with Jose Galileo. You are your colleagues. Yeah. But, but do you work in the same place or in different restaurants? The same place. In the same place. So that means Jose Galileo is your boss. Yeah. Oh, I see. Interesting. Well, uh, for Amber, I don't ask because I know that he works with Juan Carlos. <laughs> right, Amber? Yeah. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. And, and I know that you, that you travel all over the country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. For the whole country. Yeah, okay, yeah. What about you, Ana Beatriz? Where do you work? In McCormick. Ah, McCormick. So what do you do in McCormick specifically? What do you do? Control de la production. Sorry? Control de la production. Ah, production control. control. De la production. Production control. Yes. Production control. Production control. Yeah, that's right. Okay, nice. Very interesting. What about you, Frida? Where do you work? I um, work in one link is a call center. Ah, you work at a call center. I work in the uh, corporate clinic. I am the medical doctor. Oh, nice. Interesting. Very good. Do they speak English at the call center? No. Uh, nice. uh, 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 only algunas cuentas. Only sometimes, maybe you can say. Eh, eh, algunas cuentas hablan en inglés, no todas. Ah, ok. Some, some accounts are in English. Accounts is cuentas. Accounts. Yes, accounts. Some accounts are in English. Oh, interesting. Good. So I, I just want to know a little bit more about everybody. So let yeah. me see. Dinora says she works at Papa Jones with Jose Galileo, right? Yes. Ana Beatriz, she says she works at McCormick. All right. So uh, Frida works at a call center. What about you, Alejandro? Where do you work? Uh, Crio Inversiones. Uh, what is that? Uh, freeze food. Sorry? Freeze food. 
Free? Yeah, congelada. Oh, okay. All right. I see. Good. What do you do there? ¿Qué haces ahí? What do you do? Accountant. Ah, you're, yeah, I, I remember. You're the accountant. Very good. Thank yes. you. Yes. I imagine um, Gloribel is co-worker with Ana Beatriz, or no? Ana Beatriz, are you co-workers with Gloribel? No. Everyone, everyone works in good places. In different places. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but, but some people work in, in the same company, okay? Because, for example, uh, Amber, I think it's Amber, Abigail, Jacqueline, and Juan Carlos, you work together, right? Trabajan en la misma compañía, I think. Yes? Yes, Amber? Yes, teacher. Yes, that's right. And now I see that uh, Jose Galileo and Dinora, they work in the same company too, okay? Yes, they work at Papa Jones. And Maria Elena, where do you work? I am working in Fundación Educo. Sorry, can you repeat? Fundación Educo. Fundación Educo. Oh, you work in trainings, right? You work uh, at... Yeah. Trainings for um, projects and projects for the public sector, right? And for different sectors. Yes, I'm asking because I remember uh, last year I received a training about huertos escolares, and on the on the diploma I had Fundación Educo. Is that you? Some ustedes? Is that you? Yes. Yes. So. Yeah. I was part of that training. Yo fui parte de ese entrenamiento de, de huertos escolares, about huertos escolares. Last year, el año pasado. Muy bonito. Yeah. El huerto como es otro lado. Es muy bonito todo el componente. Son yes. Tres, yeah, it was very interesting. I liked it because I liked everything about agriculture. I love agriculture. By the way, I have some tomato plants, some chili plants in my house. I have different... Uh, uh, plants of fruits, for example. I love that. I love agriculture. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's start. Okay. Empecemos. So let me pass the attendance right now. No estábamos perdiendo el tiempo. Estábamos practicando inglés. We were practicing English. Okay. By doing this, you can practice English in a different way. All right. Good. Uh, so let me pass the attendance quickly. Alejandro Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Ana Abigail. Ana Beatriz. Present. Cristian Ernesto. Ember. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Frida. Present, teacher. Uh, Jacqueline Iset. Juan Carlos. Alas. <laughs> I always forget. He's not present right now, right? Um, Carla is not present. Loida Eunice. Rodesno, María Elena, María Elena. I'm here. All right. Um, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see Mauricio Antonio. Nelson Gabarrete. I think he's getting connected. Okay, Omar Francisco. Present. All right. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. All right. I didn't see you yesterday, uh, Oscar Arnulfo. <laughs> yes, I, I worked in yesterday. Ah, you were working. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Oscar Ernesto. Is Oscar Ernesto present? No, right? Rocio Lourdes. Rocio, not present. Jacqueline Gloribel? Present. Yes, right. Okay, thank you. Jocelyn Joanna? I didn't see Jocelyn Joanna yesterday. También no la vi a ella. I didn't see Jocelyn Joanna. Uh, Yesenia Marisol? Jose Galileo? Present, teacher. And Dinora Alejandra? Dinora? Present, teacher. Okay. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, let's start with uh, today's class. So in today's class, uh, 
teacher, teacher. Sorry. Uh, hold on a second, déme un segundo. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. Okay, uh, so uh, for today, oh, alguien estaba hablando, me parece. Somebody was speaking, was saying something. No? Me, teacher, Christian Lazo. Okay, so, hi, Christian. Here. All right, so I let me put the attendance here quickly. Okay, Christian. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, from yesterday, we have one activity pending, right? And you were supposed uh, to complete the activity by yourself, okay? So did you complete the activity? Did you complete the activity from yesterday? Yes or no? No, in my case, no. In your case, you didn't complete. What about the others? Can you Give yes, me like, can. give me thumbs up if you complete it. Deme un thumb, thumb up, thumbs up, please, if you complete it. You didn't complete. So it's the activity I'm talking about is this one. This is the activity I'm talking about. Esta es la actividad de la que hablo. So you were supposed to complete using the, the words with gerunds, the prepositions with verbs with ing, right? Yeah. So did you complete? Quienes completaron, pónganme la manita. Put the hand like this, please. Put the hand like this if you completed the activity. Nobody completed the activity. Okay, Ana Beatriz completed the activity. Only Ana Beatriz. No, no. Oh, Frida, I'm Frida. Okay, Frida, yeah. Only two, oh my God. All right, don't worry, it's okay. Uh, just to remember, solo para refrescar, just to remember um, and to refresh. So remember that when we use these phrases, there are prepositions, right? Sometimes we have prepositions, yes? And the idea is, la idea es, the idea is that after these prepositions, Después de esas preposiciones, after these prepositions, the verb is with ing. El verbo va con ing. For example, who is responsible for the verb is supervised? El verbo es supervised. So what is correct? Who is responsible for? Supervising. Supervising. Supervising, exactly. For supervising the machine operators, okay? And then you needed to answer Necesitaban contestar, you had to answer um, with, the, with the graphic organizer, con una palabra del graphic organizer, okay? So, uh, what is the answer? Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Assembler. The assembler, dijimos, ¿verdad? So, here, en ese espacio de ahí, on this page, you write assembler, okay? Assemblers. Okay. So you are supposed to continue with the rest. Se supone que iban a continuar con las demás. But since you haven't finished, como la mayoría no han terminado, the majority hasn't finished. And this activity is important, okay? So this activity is, um, this activity is on page 14. It's in la página 14. This activity is on page 14. So I will give you um, five minutes, okay? So in five minutes, let's get in groups and complete the activity in groups. Completen la, la actividad en equipos. In groups of three. En equipos de tres. In groups of three, okay? So are you ready? Okay, try to work together and quickly. Five minutes, okay? Cinco minutos. Okay, let's go and work. Vamos a trabajar entonces. Let's go and work. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Ingresando, voy ahorita. Este, voy, vengo nulo. Hello, everybody. Llegando, vengo. Ok. <ríe> eh, pero me imagino que es lo de ayer, ¿verdad? Correcto. Sí, lo que quedó de tarea. Ah, ok, ok. Porque 
Se lo tiene, Mr. Nelson. Llegando. Hizo Hello? la tarea de que no se copie, Mr. Nelson. Eh, sí, hice una parte. Yo creo que es donde, permítame. Era la página. A ver. Ok, está en la página 12, ¿verdad? 14, 14, page 14. Oh, oh, page 14. Uh -huh. 14. Hey, gracias, yes. teacher. Yeah, it's okay. Vengo llegando, teacher. It's okay, no problem. Ok, dice, who is responsible for the supervising? Bueno, esa ya estaba, en ejemplo. La segunda, Mr. Nelson, ¿cuál es? La Check segunda in. yo le puse que era... Checking. La segunda era... Yo le puse mantenerse en chef. Who is charge of checking the quality of the product? Así. The product. Ah, yo le, ajá, the va, checking. Yo le puse checking. Es, ah, o la tengo la checking. Ah, ¿y, qué, y, quién, ¿Y quién es la persona encargada de eso? The quality llama? control. Ajá. The quality control inspector, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, very good, very good. Control. Ok. Vamos a ver, Alejandro, la tercera. Dice, repairing the problems of the machine. ¿Quién es responsable de la reparación de los problemas, de reparar los problemas de las máquinas? Repairing. Who is responsible? The problem of the machine. The uh, uh, yes. para ello. Pero me suena que ese es el más adecuado. Uh, no, es maintenance personal. No. Mete personal de mantenimiento. Personal de mantenimiento, ¿no? Quiero ver. Computer. Computer. Está en la línea de floor manager. Maintenance chief y maintenance personal. Ajá. Yo sí. Teacher. Mm. Hey, espero que me haya puesto un chequecito. Tía. No dijo mi nombre. <risa> ya no aparece en la lista. Hoy se es más preocupante. Bueno, y si se quedó callado peor todavía. O sea, no, no, I, I didn't hear you. Can you repeat, please? De que no me tomó en cuenta en la lista. Oh, I'm sorry, Juan no Carlos. Vale, me... sí. Juan Carlos, y, le, y te puse que, que no tenía asistencia. <risa> I'm sorry, no, pero ahorita... No, 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 no se acordó del otro Juan Carlos. Como, como ya con dos, con dos Juan Carlos ya me confundo. <risa> no, pero, me, me caí del pedestal ya. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Juan Carlos. Ahorita cambié aquí. I changed, ¿ok? Ok, no, estábamos diciendo acá de que eh, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators. Ya. Yeah. Eh, ayer dijimos en la clase que era assemblers, pero exactly. veo que assemblers está en It's la of... última línea, en la fuerza de trabajo. Ah. Entonces, es el supervisor. Supervisor, exactly. You're right. Ok. You're right, yeah, it's correct. I didn't see that. You're right, tienes razón, you're right. Ok. Vaya, le di copia, le hicieron ustedes. Who is charge of checking the quality product? Ese sí dijimos que era el quality. Control is Uh, who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machine? Okay. Aquí entramos al área de floor manager, maintenance chief, and maintenance personal. This. Sí. Sí. True driver, ¿verdad? Según el organigrama, el true driver. 
who is charge of assisting the assembler, assembler, group driver. No sé qué piensan. What do you think? Yes. A mí igual me parece que sé. Alejandro. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, teacher. Why go charge of assisting the ensembler truck driver? Which number is it? Five. 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 Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Yes. Uh, so, did you check on the graphic organizer? Revisaron el, el mapa. Did you check the map? The graphic organizer? Organizer. Yes. Ah, ¿qué le dice yes. el, el graphic organizer? Before the assembler or the driver? Mm, no, but I think... Machine, uh, machine no operator. Okay, but listen to the question. Uh, who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Okay. So the machine operator, the assemblers, and the truck driver, they work together. But in case they have they have problems, who is in charge of assisting them? ¿Quién está a cargo de asistirlos en caso que ellos tengan algún problema? The supervisor. Exactly. Exactly. So the answer would be the supervisor. Okay, thank you. All right. Supervisor. Okay. Who is accountable for Managing a whole whole. What is whole? The whole operation. Whole the is whole. like the whole operation, toda la operación. The whole oh, operation. Thank you. Okay. Yes, they are manager. <laughs> yes, definitely. Just don't forget that after the prepositions, we put the verbs with ing, okay? For example, who is accountable for managing? Con ing el verbo, for managing, okay? So don't forget yes. that. No olviden eso. Don't forget that, please. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm, what is uh, wall? What is wall? In in question number six. Yes. 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 Ah, who is accountable for the whole operation? Whole. Whole. Mm -hmm. Whole. Whole is all the operation. The whole operation is all the operation. Toda la operación. Whole is todo. Uh, todo. Toda. Mm -hmm. The the answer is uh, general manager. Exactly. Yeah, he's in charge of the whole operation. Okay. Eh, in this case, manage, sería manage, manage team or manage. No, no, with ing. Remember, recuerden que después de las prepositions, the verb is with ing. El verbo va con ing. So the the the, the ah, question. Managing. Se le tiene que quitar, se le tiene que quitar la E. Managing. Exactly. Y se le pone ING. Exactly, exactly. Si termina en L, quitamos la E y le ponemos ING. Managing. Like in supervising, como en supervising. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Hacemos lo mismo. We do the same. Terminamos, Ticho. Ok, perfecto. Ok, let's go back quickly. Regresemos entonces. Let's go back quickly. ¿Terminaste, Cristian? Eh, solo en la 1, Ember. Tenía un poco de duda. Uh, supervising, quitarle la E, ponerle ING y al final se... Ok, let's wait for the others to come back. Esperemos a los demás. Some uh, participants are working, I think. So let's wait for them. Oh, how, so how was the activity? Was it simple or complicated? How was the activity? Was it easy Thanks. or complicated? Thanks to Frida. 
is was easy to me. <laughs> oh, so Frida is the master with these exercises. <laughs> no, teacher, I. The, the, yes, yeah. solo corregimos un par de cosas. Ah, okay. So the idea is that you help each other, okay? La idea es que se yeah. trabajen mutuamente, that you work each, eh, that you el, help each other. Galileo me ayudó eh, corrigiendo unas cosas. Okay, nice. That's the most important of teamwork. Eso es lo más importante del trabajo en equipo. That's the most important of teamwork. Okay, so uh, let's check quickly. All right, basically we have how many uh, questions? ¿Cuántas preguntas? How many questions do we have? Six, six questions, six questions, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, who wants to share number one? Number one. Okay. Estoy... okay, Juan Carlos, right? Juan Carlos, number one. Uh, who wants to share Juan Carlos Rivas, okay? Just to differentiate. Uh, who wants to share number two? La numero dos. Number two? Okay, Ember. Ember, number two. Uh, number three? Number three? Dinora. Dinora. All right. Thank you, Dinora. Uh, number four? Okay, Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Um, Maria Elena, do you want to share number five? I can see you raise your hand. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ana Beatriz and uh, Maria Elena, number um, number five, okay? Maria Elena, number five. And the last one, number six. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's listen to uh, Gloribel, okay? Gloribel. So please, uh, read the question and the answer, okay? Read the question and the answer, please. All right, let's start with number one, but let me share a screen. Let's start with number one. Empecemos con la número uno. Let's start with number one. Okay, let just let me make this disappear. Okay. Number one. So um, number one is Juan Carlos Rivas. So Juan Carlos, are you ready? Listo? I'm ready. Okay, Who adelante. Is responsible for supervising the machine operators is the supervisor. All right, so uh, thank you very much. So it's supervising, right? Supervising. The machine operators is the, the supervisor, okay? So it's the supervisor, good. It's not the assembler, right? No es el assembler, como habíamos dicho. dicho. Sorry, it's the supervisor because the supervisor checks the machine operators, the assemblers and the truck drivers, okay? Thank you, Juan Carlos. Number two, Ember. Ember, number two. Okay. Uh, who is in charge of checking the quality of the product? Quality Sorry? Quality control inspector. The quality control inspector. That's right. It's excellent. Thank you, Ember. Uh, let's see number three. Let's listen to um, Dinora. Who is responsible for repairing the problems? of the machine, maintenance personnel. The maintenance personnel or department, okay? Thank you very much, Dinora. So you say checking, right? Um, repairing, sorry. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines, okay? And you say the answer, the, ma the maintenance department or personnel. Good, thank you, Dinora. Number four, Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz, are you ready? Sorry, no había encendido el It's okay, it's okay. Number four. Who is accountable for the selling the products is sales department. The sales department, exactly. So the, sales the, the sales department. So the answer here is selling, right? With ING, selling, okay? Selling, selling, selling. selling. exactly. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. Thank you very much. Number five, uh, let's listen to Maria Elena. Who is in charge of uh, the assembler? Supervisor. Yes, the supervisor, exactly, okay? Assisting with ING and supervisor, okay? The supervisor, thank you, Maria Elena. And the last one, number six, Gloribel. 
who is accountable for managing the goal operation is general manager. The general manager. Excellent. Thank you, Glory Bell. So the answer here is managing. Who is accountable for managing the whole operation? What is the whole operation? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? The whole operation. Toda la operación. Toda la operación. So whole is todo o toda, right? The whole operation, okay? And is the general manager. Okay. Thank you very much. Good. Now listen, um, for the next activity, I, I don't know, all right, I, I was asking at the beginning, right? I know that I know that Jose Galileo and Dinora, you work in the same company, okay? Only the two of you, solo said those, only the two of you. Yes, I know that Juan Carlos, Ember, um, Abigail, and Jacqueline work in the same company. Am I wrong? Estoy en lo correcto? Am I wrong or uh, I am right? It's correct. Okay. Correct. 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 Okay, very good. Now, um, what about the others? ¿Qué hay de los demás? These are the ones I know. Estos son de los que yo sé. ¿Hay alguien que trabaja junto? ¿Algunos que trabajan juntos in the same company? That you work me. together in the same company? Who me? Who me? Who me? Christian Lasso. Christian Lasso. Who is your, uh, your colleague? Omar Francisco. Is Omar connected? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Only you and Omar, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Alguien más? No. Then the others, they work in different companies. Yeah? Yes? yes. Okay. Okay, yes. very good. I am asking this because in this moment, uh, you are going to create... Um, an organization chart about your company. In this moment, you will create an organization chart about your company. And in case you work in the same company, I mean, it's the same organization chart, okay? So, but if you work in different companies, make a decision, okay? So the idea is to work in groups in this moment. So if you work in different uh, companies and you are together, make a decision, um and work on the on the on the organization chart that you want. Trabajen el que el que quieran, del compañero que quieran, okay? But in the case of Jacqueline, uh, of uh, Christian Lasso and Omar, I will put you together. I will leave them together. In the case of the others, I will leave you like separately. Lo voy a dejar separado con otro equipo. So make a decision. Decidan cuál van a hacer. Make a decision about which one you are going to do, okay? Yeah, are we clear? Estamos claros? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sure. yes. At maybe one person can share a screen. Tal vez alguien puede compartir pantalla para que vaya haciendo el chart. Okay? Para que todos estén viendo. So everybody is looking. Maybe one in the, in the group. Okay? Alguno en el grupo comparte pantalla. So you work on the same chart. Para que trabajen en el mismo organization chart. Okay? Good. So let's go to work. Um, en el caso de Jacqueline, de los que ya tienen equipo, los voy a dejar en otro equipo para mientras y luego los voy a sacar. I will get you out to put you together para ponerlos juntos, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Ok, so let's go. Acepten siempre. Accept, please. Ok, let's go to work. Vamos a trabajar entonces. Let's go to work. Or I think, por aquí tengo una opción. Okay, by now, it says, let participants choose room. Okay, let participants choose room. Okay, mejor lo hacemos de una vez. So please, remember your group. Recuerden a qué room van a ir para que solo ingresen al one, two, three, four, or five, okay? So I will give you the room in this moment. Le voy a decir el room en este momento. So please remember it. Traten de recordarlo. Okay, let's see. Um, Juan Carlos Rivas, in his personnel, is su personal, in his personnel, you will go to room one, but usted va a entrar al, al aula uno, room one, okay? Room one. Um, Christian and, who is the other? And Omar, right? Christian and Omar, you will go to room two, van a ir al room two, a la sala dos, room two, okay? Then we have, um, who is the other? 
¿Quién era el otro? Ah, igual. Lemisim. Dinora en... En Galileo, right? Dinora en Galileo, room three. Ustedes van al aula número tres, room three, ¿ok? Room three, o al cuarto, a la sesión número tres, room number three. Ok. Para el número cuatro, room number four. Número cuatro, number four. We can have Ana Beatriz, Frida, Alejandro, and Jocelyn. So, room four, Ana Beatriz, Frida, Alejandro, and Jocelyn, ¿ok? Room five, el aula cinco, o la sesión cinco, room five. And we will have Oscar, Arnulfo, Mauricio, Antonio, Jacqueline Gloribel, uh, María Elena, and Nelson, let me add another group. Uh, and Nelson Gavarrete. En Nelson Gabarrete, ¿ok? So, repeating, repitiendo. Oscar, Mauricio, Gloribel, en María. Ahí nos quedamos, en María, only four, solo cuatro. Ustedes van a ir al room five. Van a ir al, a la sesión cinco, ¿ok? Room five, ¿ok? Al room five. Then, let's continue, continuemos. A Nelson. Dinora ya está. Jacqueline Lisset, too. Oscar Ernesto, ok. Nelson en Oscar Ernesto. Nelson en, en Juan Carlos Alas. Nelson, Juan Carlos Alas en Oscar Ernesto. You will go to room six. Van a ir al room six, ok. Room six. ¿Estamos listos? Are you ready? So I will, I will let you choose. Lo voy a dejar elegir ahorita. I will let you choose. So please choose the correct room. Elijan eh, el grupo que les dije. Choose the room I told you. Let's start. Empecemos. Let's start. So the idea is that you create a group, a graphic organizer, okay? Uh, no, yes. Seríamos todos, todas las jerarquías. Um, yes, the idea is that everybody has it. La idea es que todos lo tengan. The idea is that everybody has it, okay? Are you ready? Let's go. Choose the correct room, please. Elijan el room correcto. Choose the correct room, please. No me deja elegir. O sea, no estoy, no, me, no sé si ya a los demás les dejo. I can see it. Ya, ¿No les aparece todavía? It doesn't no, appear. No, okay, no, le, no me aparece. Okay, let me, okay, let, no, okay, no, let, let me do it again. No let me do it again. Let me do it again then. And now? So, ahora sí. Yes, teacher. Yes, abajo, okay. Ahorita sí. Abajo, abajo aparece sección de grupos. Ahí tienen que seleccionar y abren los grupos. Yes, please. Thank you, Ember. No me parece nada, Por allá abajito aparece, dice Ember. I don't know really what, what it appears because I'm not on your screen, but. Nada. Ay. Nelson, it doesn't appear. No, no. no. Dinora? No, no me parece nada. Dinora? Jacqueline Lisset, does it appear to you? ¿Te aparece a ti? Yeah, I think it appears to her. Jacqueline Lisset? Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, teacher. No. no, me metió con Nelson Gavarro y con los okay. Alas. Uh, Nelson, in which group Pero are si you? Nelson, ¿en cuál grupo está Nelson? Pero a mí no me pareció nada. Ok, ¿en cuál grupo está? Eh, which... eh, supuestamente iba a entrar al CIP. Ok, let me move you. Ahorita no, tengo... ninguno, realmente. No me... Me ¿Ya? entrar. ¿Ya, Nelson? Ok, 
Jacqueline, in which group? In which group, Jacqueline? Juan Carlos Salas, hello. Juan Carlos Salas, hello. Ya estamos ahí completas, completas. Ok. Eh, eh, espérame, espérame que si no me quedo sin conexión. ¿Quién va a compartir? Comparto yo la pantalla. Sí, ¿Y solo lo hacemos en Word? Eh, ¿Dibujamos? ¿O cómo sería la cuestión? Aquí lo vamos a hacer en solo en la pizarra. I think, I think, just a suggestion. I think you can do it on, in Paint. Si alguien tiene laptop, mejor háganlo en Paint, como dibujado. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, like that. Thank ah, you. Okay. ah, también tienen pizarra ah. en Zoom. You have a board on Zoom. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, it's ok. Pueden usarla, you can use it. Ok, okay. entonces comienza con General Manager. Ok, vamos a ver. Espera, ahí vamos a ir poniéndolo el cómo va a ser el asunto? No, va a ser el, el, el cargo, el perfil, el puesto. Ah, pues ahí sería don José y don María. <risa> no le pasa. <risa> Lo he disfrutado. Ahí sería don José y don María. Don José y don María. Bueno. Va, entonces sí. ¿Qué onda ahí? Te borró. Ahorita, ahorita, permítanme que... Hágame la letra bonita, Embers, no como la repartes. Así, hombre. General Manager. Que le preguntó el jefe por el control, don Juan. Y en el grupo, o sea, me preguntó, yo le dije que sí, que lo habían entregado. Y le preguntó en el grupo, William. Por decir así, irían la, las dependencias. No sé qué opina. ¿Qué dices? Yes, va, ah, este... De ahí va almacén y logística, podríamos decir. Sería, sería warehouse en... ¿Cómo se dice logística? Logistic. El delivery. Eh, no, es no, mejor logística. No, creo es un almacén. Por eso, entonces, puede ser warehouse en logística. Eh, ¿Procede, de teacher, está bien así? Almacén y logística. Yes, yes, warehouse is almacén. It's okay. How, y, para, y logística, porque es el mismo departamento. Logistics. Warehouse and logistics, you can say. Warehouse and logistics. Excelente. Yes. Logistics. Ok, de ahí sigue. Cuenta eh, por cobrar. No sería como departamento de cobro. Bueno, es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Se podría decir. Eh, sí, o sí, es que acá eh, eh, okay. nosotros hemos colocado como crédito, eh, crédito de cobro, pero creo que en otros países es como tesorería. Ah, también suena. Yeah. I think it would be the paying department. If it's only in charge of paying, solo, de, solo para pagar, paying, right? The paying department. Okay. Departamento de pagos. Ah, okay. Paying department. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is called paying department. Y luego está de, eh, sales de par. De par. O la sala Post. Post. Assistant. Después de post, eh, podemos poner también a uh, income. Oh. Ingresos. Mm. Ah. <coughs> Pero es que ese income es como salario, ingresos, o sea, y pago, y en este caso son ingresos de documentos. Podría ser este. Eh, 
Income assistance. No, no, in this case, income doesn't uh, work. Tell me the sentence, please, or tell me the department. Ah, es, es la persona que recibe Financial toda department. la documentación de todos los departamentos, pero son papeles. Uh -huh. Y en, en, la, en el área se llama ingreso. ¿Se llama? Porque es ingresos, pero uh -huh. no es ingresos de dinero, sino de los papeles que demuestran eh, las transacciones que han habido en, la, en el restaurante. Maybe, no you can call it, uh -huh. Maybe you can call it files, archivos. Archivos. Files. Files. Ah, uh -huh. files. Sería archivos, creo, el departamento. Files. Uh -huh. Files. The files. Uh -huh. You can say files department. Ok. Yeah. Eh, en este caso podemos ponerle files assistant. Porque las yeah. es que está financial department. Under this department is bookkeeper. Under bookkeeper is... Legal assistant, treasurer. Treasurer es el que paga. Yes, the treasurer. Tesorería. Uh -huh. Treasurer, cost assistant, and files assistant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we describe just only one department. In this case, financial department. Okay, it's, or, all, the it's all the company. <laughs> okay, okay. We go ahead, entonces. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay. Merchant. Executivo sería. E -E -X -E. Executivo. <laughs> Así? Sí. Yes. ¿Y hoy? ¿Quién más sería? Uh, abajo de manager director sería uh, planta, ventas. No, aquí sería. Aquí sería central. No, aquí sería office. operative manager porque está. Porque. Ajá, es que en el, en el que estábamos haciendo anterior habíamos puesto manager, director, ex, uh -huh. ¿cómo se dice? Executive general y operation. Opera, operation Va, entonces, eh, las ventas estarían en el lado eh, operativo, en todo caso. Ok, salud de también. Y eh, Ocean, ahí recursos humanos en administrativos. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, recursos humanos en inglés. Resource. Ah. Resource. Human resources. Uh -huh. Thank you. Human resources. Ni porque yo pertenezco. <laughs> Creo que así se escribe. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Service so department y eh, aquí podríamos poner también esta human eh, resources y podría estar aquí, ¿cómo es que se llama? Los de planilla y todo eso. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exacto. Sí. Eh, 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 o finance department. Finance. Corríjame si me estoy equivocando, por favor. Financia. Financia. Department. Ah, ok. ¿Y hoy? Hay quality departments. Ok. Uh -huh. Aquí sería la parte del sales. Sí.
my dance fun. Tranquila, tranquila, no. <laughs> Digamos uno que vaya abajo. Um, eso era antes, compañero, eso era antes. <risa> Al principio. Administrativo especialista. ¿Tra? O asistan. Ah, asistan. Es asistan. Es así. Comunicaciones, ¿dónde iría? Mm. Como el marketing, otro departamento. Departamento, no está ni. Puede estar dentro de. Te gustaría separar y te. Y era solo hacer esto y hay que, hay que hacer las preguntas también. No terminemos aquí, aquí vamos a estar las dos horas. Y este ítem me perdí, ¿cuál era? Ahorita sí lo tenemos, como está, como lo están viendo. Es lo que hay. In fine, in, sorry for the interruption. In external auditor, in external auditor, fine, what do you mean by financial? What do you mean when you say financial what? <coughs> no, la auditoría externa es, 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 es independiente. Sí, no está ramificado el, el, el graphic, no porque es independiente de, de toda la compañía. Yeah, I, I guess you, but uh, financial, what is that? What do you mean by that? ¿Qué quieren decir con financial? Finanzas. Finance. Ah, then, then is, yes, then is finance, not financial, finance, finance. with E at the end, finance, finance, finance. finance. E, e at the end, finance, yeah, finance, finances. Okay, thank And you. in account, what do you mean? Contabilidad. Mm -hmm. Contabilidad. Accounts, okay, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, purchases is good. Yeah, the rest is okay. Continue, 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 please. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? En Human Resorts, eh, lo de contratación, selección y contratación. Serías eh, selección. Selección en contratación. Contratación así es. Le acabo de preguntar aquí a, a, a Google y selección y contratación es selection and hearing. H I R I N G. Selection en H I R I N G. I would I would say I would say only hiring, contratación. Because I think uh, the selection is included when you hire, right? When you hire somebody, cuando contratas a alguien, uh, I think the selection is included. 
la selección va incluida at that moment. That, that's, um, yeah, so I would say, I haven't, I haven't seen, yo no he visto selection in hiring. Yo he visto solamente hiring, like the hiring department. Yes. Or, why, or why don't you say, yeah, yeah, that's inside human resources. Yeah, it's okay, you say hiring. Hiring, uh -huh, hiring, contrataciones, hiring. Eh, luego, Eric. R, no, no, no. ¿Quién lo encontró en Google? Who found it in Google? R, T, H, R, H, I, R. Con usted, no es trampa, es utilizar los recursos que tenemos. No, it's okay. It's okay, no problem. ¿Está bien así? Hi. T. H E R E N G. H E R. Un monograma de. Digamos, donde está el gerente general, el auditor, control de calidad, floor manager, financial department, o sea, computer department, o sea, están todos los departamentos, ¿verdad? Y sobre eso vamos a trabajar. ¿no? ¿Verdad? Ah, ok. Entonces, la parte que yo, bueno, sería, yo le voy así, como le dije, área de, sería área de logística, supervisor, survivor. Uh, de ahí creo que tendríamos que comenzar así. Esa, ¿Verdad? Su responsabilidad es entregar la ruta, ¿verdad? Ajá, y por eso le he puesto ruta... bien, al, al courier y ya este como ya yo ya como courier me, me responsibilidad es este cumplir más daily daily route o sea, cumplir la ruta diaria pues verdad cumplir su ruta cita uh -huh. entonces bueno, sería así vamos a dejar así a ver ¿Qué dice teacher? Va. <laughs> I'm just I'm just listening to you. <laughs> so, how are you How are you doing? El problema que tengo con Oscar es es que Oscar no ha estado en las clases anteriores, dice. Yeah, yeah, but the the idea Oscar is to to make an organization chart, hacer como un mapa conceptual de los diferentes departamentos o posiciones de la compañía o positions of the company, ¿ok? Starting from the general manager, maybe empezando del general manager o del mm -hmm. chief executive officer, el presidente, el president, I don't know, and then you go down, y es como, como desglosando. Exactly, exactly. De, de, de la, del inicio, ¿quiénes son los, 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 los digamos, los dueños, los gerentes? Yeah, los yeah, exactly. The, uh -huh, the, the, yeah. General, the general managers or the chief executive officers, then the supervisors or the bosses, no sé. Then the, the workers, the maintenance, the human resources, I don't know, okay? All the, all the different positions, okay, of the company. Uh, o sea, que vamos a describir las posiciones de la empresa. Exactly, or the department. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Eh, consulta, eh, a ellos le vamos a poner, digamos, uh, una breve descripción nada más de lo que ellos hacen, digamos. No, 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 you don't have to. Just the... No, the, the solamente the, Only the chart, solo el gráfico, nada más, no explicación. Ok, only the... No. For example, uh, supervisor, you only write supervisor. Ok, supervisor, and then maybe los ensambladores, assemblers, only that, solo eso, only that. Ok. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Yes. No description. Yeah, como ese. Sí, casi, bueno, oh, okay, vaya, como en este caso. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Vaya, como en este caso, entonces, Oscar, ¿verdad? Estamos con lo mismo, ¿verdad? Que vaya, por lo menos en, en urbano está lo que es este... Eh, está el, el gerente, digamos, como el dueño, sería como el gerente general. General manager, ¿verdad? Ah, general manager. Luego, después del gerente. 
gente sigue. Serían los. Eh... Después de los gerentes serían los, los jefes de área, los jefes de, de área, del área de lo está, digamos, dividido aquí entre jefes de área de los, logística, base de datos. Eh... Ah, área Bob. Área Bob, ¿verdad? Eh, sería bases, bases de datos, quiero ver. Ya les digo. Entonces sería ya así. Ya nos van a sacar. Sí, ya vi que nos van a sacar. Y después podría hacer que estén los los curios, por decir. O este. Ok, everyone. I'm sorry for getting you out of your group, ok? I'm sorry for getting you out of your group. So, uh, the question is, uh, Have you finished your organization chart? Did you finish? Terminaron? Did you finish? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Como estábamos utilizando la, la pizarra del Zoom al cerrar la. Se borró todo. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Nobody made a screenshot. Nadie le hizo un screenshot. No, lo estábamos, bueno, estábamos finalizándolo prácticamente. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, um, so now, now that, that you were about to finish, estaban a punto de terminar entonces, you were about to finish, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. Eh, quiero quiero, yeah, quiero some... probar algo, permita. Quiero probar okay. algo. Okay. Uh, just, some, just something. Uh, no, no me parece. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry about that. Uh, just one question quickly, okay? Uh, so please, if you finish, los que terminaron, even Amber, okay, in his group. If you finish, can you give me thumbs up? Me pueden dar thumbs up to see who finished para ver los que terminaron? Pero con las reactions, okay? Go to reactions and give me thumbs up. Okay, Ana Beatriz, Jose Galileo, Alejandro. Okay, very good. So, uh, so in this moment, let's do something, okay? Because I can see only like two groups have finished. Veo que solo dos grupos han terminado. So listen, um, Amber, I will give you space to finish. I'm sorry about that, okay? And, and your group. Good. Let's do something. I will give you, because of time, for el tiempo, I will give you five minutes, okay? In five minutes, I want you to go again to the group. Los traje solo para ver cómo iban, just to see how you're doing, okay? So I want everybody to go to their group again. Quiero que todos vayan a su grupo otra vez. Everybody to go to the group again. To finish, terminan. And Amber, I'm sorry, but oh my God, you have to do everything again. Tienen pantalla, computadora táctil o computadora normal? Amber? Es normal, normal. Oh my God, no, nadie tiene táctil del equipo. Creo que no. No, no, pero eh, no, no hay problema, teacher. Creo que lo hacemos rápido. Ok, very good. So let's go then quickly. Vamos rápidamente, five minutes. Pero de antes memoria. De que vaya... <laughs> Before you go, I will pass you the attendance quickly. Antes de que vayamos otra vez a los cinco minutos, I will pass the attendance, ok? Alejandro Antonio. Present, Ale... teacher. Ana Abigail. I'm here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Cristian Ernesto. Present. Ember. Present. Frida. Present. Jacqueline. Lisette. I'm here. Jacqueline Lisette. I'm here. Okay, okay. Juan Carlos. Uh, Alas. Car uh, Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here. Carla. Loida Eunice. Eunice, she's not connected. Maria Elena. I'm here. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio. Present. Okay. Nelson. Nelson. I'm here. Okay. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Oscar Ernesto. Present. A Rocío Lourdes. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joana. 
I'm here. Uh, Yesenia. Jose Galileo. Present. And Dinora. Present. Okay, listen. Uh, for the ones who finished, para los que ya terminaron, no van a ir sin hacer nada. You will do something. Van a hacer algo. You will do something, okay? Listen. I try to ask questions using uh, dedicated to, responsible for, committed to, el vocabulario que estudiamos ayer, committed to, um, in charge of, and ask questions, hagan preguntas, like for example, uh, who is in charge of checking the merchandise? Who is? Who is in charge of checking the merchandise? For example, oh, you say the, uh, the sales manager, I don't know, okay? Then you can say, who is responsible for sending emails? Oh, you say everybody is responsible for sending emails, okay? So try to use the vocabulary to ask questions. Usemos el vocabulario para hacer preguntas. Who is? Quién está o quién es? Who is responsible? Who is dedicated to? Who is committed to? Who is um, in charge of, okay? And ask questions. Yeah, answer preguntas en el equipo. Usando el, using the, uh, the organization chart. Usando el organization chart que ya tienen, okay? So the rest, los que no han terminado, let's go to finish. Vamos a terminar. So again, go to the same group. Otra vez vayan al mismo equipo en el que estaban. Go to the same group, okay? Vamos entonces, ¿Qué let's go. Me parece para poder entrar? Ahorita, right now, ahorita. Okay, okay, ahorita, okay. right now. Maria, did you receive the, 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 no. Maria, did you receive it? Sorry? Aparece, does it appear? Yeah. Okay, uh, Nelson? No. En que grupo, in which group? Oops. Six, okay. Six. Yes. Después, después de logistic tenía que ponerle grocer de, del el área de Pedro. De Pedro. Ajá. Ajá, el de Mave, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero ¿por qué específicamente le tengo que poner de Mave si en realidad de todas las marcas? Bien. Pero para lo que lo han contratado, que, Mave. Lo que pasa es que oh. Pedro está a cargo de Mave de Whirlpool, de Oster en caso de lo de Samsung o sea que Pedro ve todas las demás marcas o sea, a menos que lo cambiemos que vean cómo va. Yo hoy, hoy, lo vamos a hacer en el, hoy lo vamos a hacer en el PowerPoint a menos que a Pedro solo le deje como supervisor técnico no. El otro es, me dijeron supervisor Mave, supervisor Samsung, 
y de logística. Ember, ¿qué nos ha yeah. hecho? <risa> Sería Logistic Supervisor, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ember, la S de Samsung es mayúscula. Se pone a que la haga la A. No puedo porque él está manipulándola. Vaya de ahí. No es que el hombre tomó el liderato. Luego eh, me dijeron. Ahí va después de abajo de Mavi, la profesor Mavi, van los técnicos. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Is who is a contable for accounting or who is in chair of accounting? Uh -huh. I mean, both are okay. Who is in charge of accounting is okay or he is accountable for accounting, it's okay. Both are okay. Okay. Las dos son buenas. Okay. Las dos están bien. The two questions are okay. Thank you. Okay, who is in charge of accounting? You can say, oh, the accountant, okay? Yes, okay, yeah. okay. So you finished? Estamos, eh, eh, bueno, contesto, I mean, estimado. Ya casi, ya casi. Okay, I mean the organization chart, you finish it. Ah. Sí, yes. Ah, in this moment you are asking questions. Yes, yes. Okay, continue, 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 please. Okay, okay. All right. Files assistant. Perdón, repetí. No te escuché. Who es is que digo recorder starting o algo así. ¿Cómo así? <laughs> Who is la pregunta. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Who is responsible for files assist? Files uh, is bookkeeper. The responsible is responsible uh, for uh, files assistant is bookkeeper. Okay. Another sign, sign synonymos. No, Ch teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia sinónimos? Tenonem. Senonem. 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 I got it. Vale, lo siento, Dinora. Let me, let me hear you. Dinora. Please commit me to truck driver ah the commit committer to truck driver is distribution manager okay first what is committed to ah, committed what, to what is, is what is committed to is El encargado, eh? Mm, committed, committed to is a, uh, let me see, comprometido a. Okay, for, for example, in this case, I think the equation is not okay with committed to. Okay? Uh, maybe you can say a uh, responsible for. Uh, for example, uh, who is committed to selling products, for example? In the company, ¿quién está comprometido a vender productos? Who is committed to uh, selling products? Ah, es que es dedicated to. Is dedicado a, it's like the same, okay? Uh, who is dedicated to what? To hiring people. Ah, uh, teacher. Yes. We thought the five. Uh, uh, 
statement defines words responsible, insurers, accountable, committed, dedicated. We thought mean uh, the same. Responsible. Uh, responsible. No, no, not exactly. No, not it. It. Oh, we said yesterday that only responsible and accountable are synonyms. We said, right? Uh, they mean the same. But the others, they yeah. have a different meaning, like in charge of. They, it yeah. has a different meaning, or committed to has a different meaning, and the same for dedicated to, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we was wrong. Yeah. I'm wrong. Uh, Dinora, yesterday, yesterday, we were sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You were tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just responsible and accountable are synonyms. synonyms. Exactly. Synonyms. And maybe somehow... In, in charge of... Yeah. In charge, charge is of, a cargo de, a cargo de is different. Cometido y dedicated is como... Dedicado, ah. de, Maybe in the case of committed and dedicated are uh -huh. a little similar. Uh -huh. Son un poco similares. They are a little similar. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, okay, but... Okay, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay, Dinora, go ahead, please. Okay. Who is... Um... Mm -hmm. Who is committed to to sales to make the the dog? Ah, uh, uh, okay. To make just, the dog the pizza dog. Just sorry for yeah. the interruption. Sorry for the interruption again, but it's important for me to correct you sometimes. Okay. Uh, in this case, in order, just remember that after prepositions, the verb is with ing. Okay, so you say who is committed to making. Okay, making, making, yeah. making the... uh, exactly to, because amazing. make is a verb. Okay, make is a verb, so you say to making. Okay, who is committed to making, and then you continue. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, continue, continue, and continue. Sorry for the interruption. Thank you. Oh, thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, who is? Yo sería otra, sería como, sería como en otra área, ¿no? Porque informática podemos tocar. Este? Ajá, entonces sí, sí, informática le vamos a poner aparte. Es el área, área de IT, ¿verdad? Área, área, área. Sería computing area. Computing area. Computing area. Computing. Dejémoslo hasta ahí entonces porque ya los van a sacar. ¿Verdad? Sorry, time is over. Sorry, time is over. Did you finish? Terminaron? Did you finish? Almost. Okay, uh, so welcome back. Oh, this has taken more time than, than expected, but it's okay. The most important is that you are like discussing vocabulary. The most important is that you are learning new vocabulary, okay? And there is a purpose in every activity. In cada actividad hay un propósito. In every activity, there is a purpose, okay? And the purpose here is that you discuss, that you discuss new vocabulary, that you share new vocabulary, and that you learn about your company, okay? Good. So, uh, just I want somebody, anybody, I want somebody from the from the class to share their graphic organizer. Creo, quiero que alguien comparta su, su organization chart. Who wants to share it? ¿Quién quiere compartirlo con la clase? Who wants to share it? You can okay, Frida, do you want to share? Yeah. Okay, go to share screen or compartir pantalla. And you share with us. And I have questions for everybody. 
Good. So do you see uh, Frida's um, organization chart? Yeah. Yes or no? Wow. You, yes. Okay, look. Yes. Okay, okay, look. Um, so by looking at the chart, I have questions for everybody, okay? Here, anybody can answer the questions, yeah? So please, if you have the answer, raise your hand on reactions. Si tiene la respuesta, levanta la mano en reactions, okay? Can you do that for me, please? Don't answer just yes. automatically, okay? Good. So let's see. Uh, question number one. Question number one. Who is in charge of selling? Who is in charge of selling? Who is in charge of selling? Department. Please don't forget to raise your hand. Don't forget to raise your hand, please. Okay, let's see, Maria Elena. Who is in charge of selling, Maria Elena? Sales department. The sales department. Very good. That's that's excellent. Um, next question. Who is responsible for new contracts or for hiring new employees? Who is responsible for hiring new employees? Okay, Galileo, do you have the answer? Human resources. Human resources, excellent. That's very good. Next. Okay, lower your hand, bajen la mano. Lower your hand, please. Who is in charge of paying the salaries to the employees? Dinora. What is the answer, Dinora? Payroll. The payroll department. Very good. Thank you very much. Good. Who is, okay, Dinora, lower your hand. Who is responsible for keeping, for keeping the finance of the company? Who is responsible for keeping the finance of the company? All right, Alejandro. The financial department. The financial department. Very good. Next question. Siguiente pregunta. Who is um who is responsible? Who is responsible for checking any problems with equipment in the company? Who is responsible for checking or repairing any problems with equipment, computers in the company? Okay, Ana Beatriz, do you have the answer? IT departments. The IT, IT department. department. The IT department. Very good. Who is in charge of writing legal documents of the company? Who is in charge of writing legal documents in the company? Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio? Legal, legal department. The legal department. Excellent. That's very good. Next question. Who is in charge of checking? Uh, who is in, sorry, who is committed? Who is committed to checking the quality of the products? Jose Galileo. Jose quality Galileo. Department. The quality department. Very good. Next question. Siguiente pregunta. Who is in charge of distributing the products? Who is in charge of distributing the products? Okay, Ana Beatriz. Central of distribution. Central of distribution. Excellent. That's very good. Okay. Um, okay, basically that's it. Uh, can you stop sharing, please? Um, Frida? F Frida, can you stop sharing? Puedes dejarte compartir? Thank you very much. So listen. I am using the phrases responsible for be in charge of, committed to, okay? In charge of, I am using these phrases, okay? Thank you, Frida, for sharing your, uh, your, your organization chart, okay? I know everybody has the organization chart, okay? So because of time, we will stop here. Thank you for your participation on this part, and thank you for your participation on the creation of the organizational charts, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, let's go to uh, one of today's activities, one of the other activities we have for uh, today. Okay, listen. Uh, here I have 
If you have the photocopies, this is on page 15, okay? It's in la página 15, it's on page 15. So, question number one, what is reputation? What is reputation? What is reputation? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? What is reputation? Reputación. Reputación, okay? Reputación. And tell me a short definition. Dígame una definición corta. Tell me a short definition in English, please. It's uh, the other people think about other people. That's, that, that's talking about companies or businesses is what other people see in the company. Is what other people see in the company or what the company reflects, what the company shows to the public or to the customers. That's the reputation. Second question, how do the companies build their reputation? ¿Cómo construyen esa re reputación? How do they build the reputation talking about companies? How do you think the reputation is built? ¿Cómo es creada o construida esa reputación? How? Uh... Any answer? How do with you think? With experience? With, with ex work? Exact, with experience. Okay, that's one. Any other? It's commitment. Sorry? Commitment. Uh -huh. by, by commitment, okay, compromiso. By commitment, mm -hmm. commitment, by commitment, very good. Uh, what else, ¿qué más? How else? Is is the way, like the people in the company, uh, uh, have a good behavior uh, okay. in front of the clients. Yeah, the behavior is important. Okay, el comportamiento, the behavior is important for building a good reputation. Now, the question for you is the question is for for perception the other person. By respecting the other people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Respecting? You mean respecting? No, perception. Mm, my perception uh, about um, employee or um, um, a company. Okay. Can my you say, perception. I don't get you. Can you say that in Spanish, please? So I get you better? Mi, percep mi percepción de, de, de cómo es una empresa. Ah. I, yeah, it's okay. My perception of, of a company, okay? My perception of a company. Very good. Now, the question for you is in general. The question for you is, how is the reputation of the company you work? How is the reputation of the company where you work? You can say, oh, the reputation of my company is very good or we have a good reputation, or ah, our reputation is very good, or it's amazing, it's excellent, or our reputation is um, exciting. I, I don't know, okay, so tell me something. How is the reputation of your company? Tell me. The uh, me, teacher. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, or my company is, Resumido, how, how I can say resumido? Yes. ¿Cómo puedo decir resumido? But tell me the complete sentence because... Okay. Uh, the reputation of my company is a good place to work. Okay, Quería very decirle, good. Lo voy a resumir, pero mejor más fácil así. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a good, good place. place to work. Yes. It's a good place to work. Very good. That's the reputation of your company. Okay, what about the others? Uh, okay, let's see, Frida. No. Frida and, from, then Ana, and then Ana Beatriz. From my perspective, the reputation of my co of the company where I work is very good. Oh, nice. From, exactly. my, from my perspective. No, it's okay. I mean, it's your perception. It's okay. I mean, I don't think your perception is wrong, right? Because it's what you see inside your company, okay? Good. Thank you, Frida. Ana Beatriz. I 
Re, ¿Cómo se dice reputación, Tisha? Reputation. 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 My company is quality by tradition. Oh, nice. It's quality by tradition. That sounds like a value, like a mission or a vision. I don't know. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see. Uh, anybody else? Alguien más? Anybody else? The question is, how is the reputation of your company? Maria Elena, I think she wants to give her opinion. In my company, we have many politicians. You have many, you have many, sorry? Politicians. Ah, politics. Po policies, policies, policies. Many policies and... Um, we have report supported by Typhoon Alliance. Okay, allies. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much, Maria Elena. Thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más? Anybody else? Nobody. Okay, very good. So this, this is about the reputation of your company, right? Good. Now listen. Take a moment. Tome un espacio. Take a moment and... Here, uh, on this part, we have a conversation, okay? We have a, a conversation, so take a moment, please, and read the conversation. And at the same time, a la misma vez, try to answer these questions, true or false, okay? It's on page 15, it's en la página 15, it's on page 15. So again, read the conversation and try to Check true or false here, okay? Ready, listos? Okay, go ahead, adelante. So read and check true and false here. Okay, are you ready? Están listos? Yes. Yes, all right, let's see. 
Uh, so basically, you needed to read the conversation and to answer true or false, verdadero o falso, okay? So let's see, veamos entonces. Question number one. People know Rex produces clothes with modern designs for kids. True or true. false? True. True, true, it's correct. It's true, it's true. Number two. People know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. True or false? True. 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 It's, it's true, it's true. Look, it says Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Okay, so it's true. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I, I, I do not agree because sure. Daniel, Daniel's answer is, I see about the clothes for kids, but uh, he, he have a question. What is Rex known for? He doesn't know what is the, uh, his, times uh, that is the reason why i think uh it's true it's false sorry it's false it's false for you yeah number two is false well, daniel is well, daniel is question to jessica what yes. is rex known for jessica I... answer and explain here and explain his uh him uh is known for the modern design equality. Daniel don't know about it. Yes, yes, but, but as you can see, Daniel is asking, and what is Rex known for, okay? And Jessica answers, Rex is known for, ah, is known for what? For the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. So oh. basically, people know about the quality of the clothes they make because it says, they are known for that. Ellos son conocidos por eso. They are known for that. That's why it's true. Por eso es cierto. That's why it's true, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's see number three. People see Rex as a pre prestigious company. True or false? True. 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 It's true. true. It's true. The, the, maybe the confusion is that we don't see people here directly. Aquí no vemos directamente people, right? But, okay, and this is the topic here, okay? This is the topic here that we don't see people directly, but they are involved, pero están involucrados. They are involved, okay? Next question. The last one, number four. People are rate Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. True or false? false. True or false? True or false. false. It's false. It's false. What is correct? ¿Qué es correcto? Because it's... The most is rated at the most most rated rated is 10 most prestigious companies. Exactly, because Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Now, listen. Teacher, teacher. Yes, uh, yes. Including the 10 most prestigious. The 10 most prestigious is including the 20 most prestigious companies. Okay, can you repeat your point, please? Oh. Rex está dentro de las 10 mejores, ¿sí? Entonces, y 10 está dentro de las 20 mejores. <laughs> okay, no, it's porque true. estar dentro de las 20 me mejores no es tan bueno como estar dentro de las 10 mejores. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree with yeah. that. Estoy de acuerdo con I eso. Agree I agree too. with that. No, I agree no, with no, that. Es una pregunta abierta. It's, it's, yeah, I know. It's, I know it's, 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 it's not, a little, it's a little teacher, tricky. It's, it's not the same uh, to be number one than to be number 10. That's right. As you can see, the, the, the question is people rate Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Yeah, that's false. Why? Because no, they are rated like among the best, entre las mejores, among the 10 most prestigious companies. So it's not the same. According to this and according to, if I were this company, I would like to be like in the 10 most prestigious companies, not in the 20 most prestigious companies, right? So it has a higher value. Tiene un valor más alto. It has a higher value. Okay, so it's false. It's false. So it's false. Good. Now, listen, listen. As you can see, 
in the conversation, I want sure. you to go beyond. Quiero que vayamos I'm, más lejos. I want you I'm to sorry, go beyond. Teacher. I'm sorry, teacher. I have a question. Yeah, what is it? What do you say it mean is known for? It's, ah, okay, I'm going there. Ahorita vamos ahí. Ahorita vamos ahí. We are going there. So as you can see, we have some examples here in black or in bold. Tenemos unos ejemplos en negrita. And in the examples we have, for example, what is Rex known for? How do you translate the sentence? ¿Cómo traducen esta pregunta? How do you translate this question? Conocido por. Conocido por. Okay, so what is Rex known for? ¿Por qué es conocido Rex? Okay, and then we have in the answer. Rex is known for. How do you translate this? ¿Cómo traducen eso? How do you translate this? Rex is known Rex for. Rex es conocido por. Exactly. Rex es conocido por. Next. Siguiente. Rex is recognized. How do you translate this? Rex es reconocido. Okay. Rex es reconocido. Rex is recognized. Good. And the last one. La última. Rex. Rex is rated. Rex es calificado como. Ok, ok. Rex es calificado como. Now listen. I want you to see something important here. Listen. I want you to see something important here. Quiero que veamos algo importante. I want you to see something important. Oh, what a cute baby, Amber. <laughs> ok. I want you to see something important. Listen. The most important here in these examples is that... I don't care why, uh, I mean, or I don't care about the people, I mean, who know this company. I don't care about the people who know this company. I care about the company itself or the action of the company itself. For example, if I say, Rex is known for the best products. Rex is known for the best products. What I care about is, Rex, the action. Ah, but who cares about these products? ¿A quién le interesan estos productos? Ah, the customers, right? Indirectly, indirectly, you see that the customers, I mean, are interested in these products, but they're not mentioned, pero no son mencionados los clientes, ¿verdad? Yes? So that, that's important here. We care about the action, not about the doer. Nos importa la acción y no quien realiza esa acción. Okay? So that's the most important here. Now, let me give you some other examples. Déjenme darles otros ejemplos. Let me give you some other examples. I could say, for example, podría decirles, por ejemplo, miran la pizarra, do you see the board? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay. So for example, I could say, Por ejemplo, podría, podría decirles, um, let me see, just to give you one. Um, let me see, let me, let me see. Okay, computers, for example, computers. Computers, computers are, vamos a estar usando el R o el is, okay? R or is. Computers are, then I say repair, Aquí le pongo ed al verbo. Computers are repaired um, every day. Computers are repaired every day. Okay, how do you translate the sentence? ¿Cómo traducen esa oración? Computadoras son reparadas cada día. Las computadoras son reparadas todos los días. Okay, so computers are repaired every day. Now the question is, la pregunta es, do I care who repairs the computers? Me importa quién repara las computadoras? Do I care who repairs the computers? No, I don't. No, right? No, no. I don't care about that. What do I care about? ¿Qué es lo que me importa? What do I care about? The action. Your, your yes. results. The Before action. The that, that's right. What I care about is the action. That the computers are repaired. I care about that. Eso es lo que me importa. I care about that. And in English... We call this, esto en inglés le llamamos passive voice. Voz pasiva, passive voice. We call it 
passive voice, voz pasiva, passive voice. What do we need in the passive voice? ¿Qué necesitamos en la voz pasiva? Ah, oh, basically we need a subject, ok. Necesitamos un subject, ok, que sería básicamente the action, right? Then we need um, is or are. Necesitamos is or are. Is or are. Then a verb. Necesitamos un verbo en su forma past participle. En the form past participle, ok? En la forma de pasado participio. En a complement, if necessary. Si es necesario un complemento, ok? So this is the structure. Esa es la estructura, básicamente. Now I ask. Now I ask. Have you ever heard about past participle of verbs? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado acerca del pasado participio de un verbo? Okay. Have you yes, heard? I don't understand. Yes, but you don't understand? Galileo, sorry. Yes, but you don't understand what you said? Yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah, I... I hear it, but I don't understand. Okay, the now concept. listen. I, I am asking I this. I am down remember. Sorry? I am down remember. You are done. I am done. No. I, I don't get you. <laughs> I don't get you. Es por la paleta. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't, you don't, ah, I, you don't. Okay, you don't remember. Okay, listen. No, I have, I have, I have this question. Uh, I have this question because for this topic we need verbs in past participle. Okay, para este tema necesitamos verbos en pasado participio. Let me give you some examples. Déjeme darle, darles algunos ejemplos. Let me give you some examples. Okay, okay? yeah. Uh, two minutes. Sorry. <laughs> Los dos minutos. Sí, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Realmente se me olvidó. I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Okay. So it's almost time. Es casi hora, pero les puedo dar dos minutos. I can give you two minutes. Okay. Tomen dos minutos. Take two minutes. It's no, okay. teacher. No, creo, no, teacher. No. Creo que están. Creo que están aguantando. Terminemos, mejor. Okay. Si alguien quiere ir, puede ir rápidamente. You can go quickly, all right? Para que no interrumpamos esta parte. Okay. Listen. Escuchen. Listen up. Ah, so aquí tenemos the structure. We have the structure, right? So now listen. Ahora bien, ¿qué es un verbo en pasado participio? A verb has three forms. Un verbo tiene tres formas. Tiene el, la forma en present. Okay. The form in past, la forma en pasado. And the form in past participle, la forma en pasado participio, past participle. Okay. Past participle. Past participle. Ok, muy bien. Imagine, imagínense que yo tengo el verbo um, what? Repair. Reparar, repair. So in past, I say repair. It's easy, right? Digo repair. Yeah? And in past participle, it's easy too. También es easy. It's also easy because I say repair too. También digo repair. Ok. Y uso esta forma en este tema de pasado de, de, del, del passive voice. Now, maybe the complicated thing is irregular verbs. Tal vez lo complicado son los verbos irregulares, irregular verbs. Why? Imagine I have the verb, imagínense que tengo el verbo eat. Eat is comer. In past is ate. En pasado es ate. Y en past participle sería eaten. La forma cambia. So I use this form. Uso esta forma de acá. I use this form, okay? En el, en el, en el passive voice. Now, I will use one, um, one of these verbs. Voy a usar uno de estos verbos irregulares para darles un ejemplo. Okay? Imagine I have the verb buy. Tengo el verbo buy. Buy is comprar. In past, en pasado sería bought. Y en, pa uh, bought. Y en pasado participio sería bought. Buy. But, so now I say, um, products, the example, el ejemplo, the example, uh, products are, but, 
are bought um, by customers by customers uh, every day, for example. How do you translate the sentence? ¿Cómo traducen la oración? Los productos son comprados por los... Por los clientes. Por los clientes yeah, todos los días. Todos los días. Ah, ok, good. So listen. Okay. So, products, primero el sujeto, que es un objeto, luego va el, el, el are, luego el verbo en pasado participio, y luego un complemento, a complemento, ok? So, but the most important is this. Lo más importante es esto. The most important is this, ok? The most important is that, yeah? Uh, I have a question. What is it? Uh, ¿Cómo puedo saber yo qué letras o cómo voy a modificar un verbo para, para que sea pasado participio? I like that question. I really like that question. Okay, listen. Uh, do you know about regular and irregular verbs? ¿Saben acerca de verbos regulares y verbos regulares? Do you know about that? Yes? Yes. Kind of. No. Okay. Ok, muy bien. O lo que podría hacer más bien es mandarles una lista de verbos que aparece el present, el past y el past participle. ¿Les parece? Y ahí en la forma de past participle que aparece, yes. esa es la forma que vamos a usar en este tema. ¿Ok? ¿Agree? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿Do you agree? Yes, I do. Pero, yes. yes. Pero, yes. pero al, al usted guiarnos esa lista, nos ayudaría a ver cómo hacer el cambio en los verbos que están en la lista. Pero si digamos necesitamos utilizar alguno que no esté ahí, ¿cómo, cómo yo puedo conocer el, qué es lo que le voy a cambiar? Let's do something. Hagamos algo. Let's do something. I will share irregular verbs. Les voy a, les voy a compartir verbos irregulares solamente, porque esos son los que cambian, ¿ok? Los verbos regulares solo les ponemos ED y eso es todo. O, o, o los conjugamos con una regla, ¿ok? So there's no big problem, no hay un gran problema. El problema es con los irregulares. Así que les voy a compartir solamente irregulares. Si alguno no está en esa lista, es porque le vamos a poner ED o IED, depende de la regla, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Para que no nos confundamos, okay, so we don't get confused. Agree? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Ok, but by now, yeah. pero por ahora, but by now, look, by now, I want you to help me with something. Quiero que me ayuden con algo. I want you to help me with something. Now look, let's go here. Vamos acá. Let's go here. So, we are supposed to pass these sentences to pass the voice. Now listen, for this, I have some verbs in parentheses. Tengo algunos verbos en parentheses. Rate, for example, rate. Rate. El past participle de rate sería... Rated. Rated, exactly, rated. Tengo perceive. ¿Cuál sería el past participle de perceive? Perceived. Perceived, exactly. Uh, perceived. Con D al final, perceived. Luego tengo sí, que es ver. ¿Cuál sería el past participle de sí? Sin. Sin. Alguien veo que alguien sabe los verbos por ahí. Sin, sin. Good. The no. Lo teníamos en la conversación. Is on the conversation. No. Known. Ok, no. sería... Known, ok, known. And for rate sería? Rated. Rated, rated, ok. Now please, ahora bien, let's try to complete the sentences using the passive voice. Tratemos de completar las oraciones usando la voz pasiva. You have the verbs. Aquí le doy los verbos ya en, en voz, en, en pasado participio, en past participle. Ok, solo necesitamos poner are or is. Are if it's plural and is if it's singular. Very good. ¿Cómo quedaría la número uno? Ok, we have no... Ok, our company is considered the best manufacturer of rooms in the country. Number two, ¿cómo quedaría la número dos? ¿Alguien? ¿Anybody? Our products are rated. Ah, ok. Are the most popular in the United States. Our products are, are rated, are rated, okay? Are, y luego el pasado participio, are rated, are rated as 
five of the most popular in the United States. Good. Number three, la numero tres. ¿Cómo quedaría? How would it stay? Our customer service agents are perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Okay, our customer service agents are perceived oh, as the most perceived. efficient in the sector. Sure. Son percibidos, okay, are perceived as the most efficient in the, in the sector. Okay, very good. Let's go to number four. ¿Cómo quedaría la, numer la número cuatro? Number four, the brand, la marca. The, the, brand, the brand is seen as the exactly. leader of the energy drinks market. Okay, you say then the brand is seen, la marca es vista, the brand is seen as the leader in the energy drinks market. Number five, la numero cinco, number five. The company is. Ah, the company? Is, is, known. is, is known. Is known, okay, la compañía es conocida, the company is known as a major it's producer. A major producer producer of choosing the region. The last one, la última. Our vegetables is plural, it's plural. Our, uh, our vegetables are, are, are rated, son are, calificados, are rated as the least contaminated of the national market. Okay, very good. Muy bien, very good. So now it's a lot of information, right? It's a lot of information. It's too much information. It's demasiada información, creo, right? It's a lot of information, but it's important anyways. Pero había que cubrir el tema. I had to cover the topic, and I think it's important for you. Now, how much do you understand the topic? ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuánto se entiende el tema? Like this, like this, or like this? Like this. Okay, show me. Quiero que todos me lo muestren. I want everybody to show me. How much do you understand the topic? ¿Qué tanto se comprende el tema? Thumbs up, middle thumbs, or mm. thumbs down? The problem is irregular verbs. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but the question is not about the irregular verbs. <laughs> the question is about how much you understand the topic. So let's do it again. One, two, three. Like this, like this, or like this? Like this. Okay, very good. Now, lo de los verbos irregulares, eso sí va a depender de ustedes. ¿Por qué? Porque los verbos irregulares, no hay otra manera de saberlos que aprendérselos. Por eso ayer hacíamos un memory game, hacíamos un juego de memoria. Porque en inglés deben memorizar algunas cosas que no hay otra manera. Okay, there's no other way. Así que si quieren saber el pasado participio de un verbo irregular, ¿cuál es la única forma de saberlo? To learn memorize. it. Aprendérselo. To memorize by, it. By, by heart. But you have what, Galileo? By heart or memorizing. Yeah, yeah. You have to learn it by heart. Hay que aprenderlo de memoria. You have to learn it by heart. Yo sé que algunos estamos un poquito oxidados en este tema. <laughs> but the most important is to start memorizing again. Okay. So everybody, um, it's almost time. Let me pass the attendance quickly. Le voy a pasar asistencia rápidamente. So before, do you have any question about the topic? Alguna pregunta del tema? Any question about the topic? No? Before I pass the attendance, no questions? No? no okay. Teacher. Okay, let me pass the attendance. Alejandro Antonio? I'm here. Ana Abigail? Here. I'm here. Ana, okay, Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian. Present. Ember. I'm here. Frida. I'm here. Uh, Jacqueline. Lisette. Juan Carlos. Eh, Alas. Uh, Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm right here. Carla, Lloyd de Unice, María Elena, I'm here. Mauricio Antonio, present, ah, Nelson Gabarrete, I'm here. Omar Francisco, present, Oscar Arnulfo, present, Oscar Ernesto, 
I'm here. Rocío Lourdes. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joana. I'm here. Uh, Yesenia. Jose Galileo. Present, teacher. And Dinora Alejandra. Present. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for connecting. Just don't forget uh, to finish the homework for tomorrow, okay? No olviden terminar las tareas de la semana antes de la sesión de mañana, before tomorrow's session, okay? Y siempre vayan a los foros de discusión, go to the discussion forums, okay? Uh, who has the one-on-one -on -one session today? ¿A quién le toca la sesión uno a uno hoy? Who has the one-on-one -on -one session? No, Bari, a nadie le corresponde hoy. ¿Les recuerdo? ¿O se les ha olvidado? ¿O sí recuerdan su fecha? ¿Recuerdan su fecha o se les ha olvidado? ¿O es que no está la persona? A mí me toca, a mí me toca el primero. Ok, vamos a ver ahorita. Voy a, voy a revisar por si... Sí. le toca a ti. Oh, Carla y Anet. Ok, pero ella no se ha conectado ningún día. She hasn't gotten connected any day. Ok, so um, then... Well... Well, 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 anyways, okay, so everybody, thank you very much for connecting, okay, so please, good night, y yo sé que el tema no fue entretenido, okay, no, es, no era ese el propósito, pero sí era importante, it was important, okay, so thank you very much for connecting, goodbye, take care, and, and see you tomorrow, okay. Good night, bye, okay. bye. Okay. bye, 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 see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, Jacqueline. Okay, um, okay, since uh, nobody got connected for the one-on-one -on -one session, como nadie se conectó para la sesión uno a uno, eh, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso acerca del tema que estuvimos viendo, since it's a little complicated, desde el momento que es un poco, un poco complicado, okay? So the idea is to, to review it, la idea es repasarlo un poquito, the idea is to review it a little bit, okay? So let's go then. Vamos entonces. Let's go then. Okay, listen. Muy bien. Very good. So the topic is, um, or the topic was, sorry, the passive, um, it was the passive voice, or was passive, the passive voice, okay? The idea of the passive voice is uh, to highlight, to highlight, um, the action okay to highlight the action not the doer okay so this is the idea of the passive voice esta es la idea de la voz pasiva okay resaltar la acción y no a quien hace la acción not the person doing the action okay so that's the the most important here esto es lo más importante so let's see one example veamos un ejemplo um i can say um so far I will use a different color. I could say, for example, um, software, okay, software um, is, is checked, is checked um, frequently, for example. Software is checked frequently, okay? So listen, what is the structure? ¿Cuál sería la estructura a seguir? The subject, the verb to be, el verb to be, que podría ser um, is o podría ser también are, in this case, is or are, okay? So this is the structure. Then the verb, el verbo principal, the verb, but this verb is in past participle. El, pas el verbo va en pasado participio, okay? Que ya vamos a ver un poquito acerca de los verbos en pasado participio. Puede ir un pequeño complemento. 
Okay? Very good. What is the most important here? The software. Okay? That the software is checked. Lo más importante es que el software es revisado. ¿Quién lo revisa? I don't care. Okay? No, no me importa realmente. No importa. It doesn't matter. Okay? So what I care about, lo que importa es that the software is checked. Que el software es revisado frecuentemente. Okay? That's important. Y esa es la idea del, de la voz pasiva. Veamos otro ejemplo. Let's see another example. Um, the merchandise, okay? Uh, the merchandise, for example, the merchandise is dis distributed, you can say, distribuida, is distributed um, to all, um, to all, um, Sellers, for example, or to all sales people, a todos los vendedores, to all sales people, okay? La mercancía es distribuida a todos los vendedores. Now, now look, ahora veamos. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? The merchandise, ese sería el sujeto. Luego tenemos el verbo to be que sería is, okay? Is sería el verbo to be. Distributed, que sería el verbo en Pasado participio, ¿ok? What do I care about? ¿Qué es lo que me interesa acá? Que la mercancía es distribuida a todos los vendedores. It's distributed to all sales people. That is important here. Eso es lo más importante acá. ¿Ok? That is the most important here. ¿Quién la distribuye? I mean, that's not important. Eso no es importante. That's not important. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Ahora vamos a ver, acá necesitamos verbos en pasado participio, past participle verbs. ¿Y qué es el pasado participio de un verbo? What's the, what is the past participle of the verb? El verbo tiene tres formas, ¿ok? It has present, tiene el presente, past, y tiene past, um, Past participle, el pasado participio, past participle, ¿ok? ¿Cómo sabemos cada una de las formas? Muy bien. Para un verbo regular es fácil, ¿ok? Porque solo le ponemos ED o seguimos algunas reglas. Por ejemplo, en presente, revisar sería check. En pasado sería check. Y en pasado participio sería lo mismo que en pasado. Check. Solo le ponemos ED. ¿Ok? Pero ¿qué hay de un verbo irregular? Aquí viene la dificultad porque un verbo irregular cambia su forma. Por ejemplo, en pasado, ver sería so. Y en pasado participio sería sin. Y esa es la forma que usamos. ¿Cuál es la forma de saber los verbos irregulares? La única forma es memorizándolos. ¿Ok? So, básicamente eso era lo que tenía que decirles del pasado participio. Espero que les ayude. And thank you very much.